Grace was devastated. Me had these fantasies about being a father to Lola again, and you know she's so so sedated at St. Anne. She's she, she's unconscious. I tried to get him to come home with me, and nah, he wouldn't budge. I had um, no idea that you were so into Ray Montez. You have no idea how into him I am. Are you and Cole working on things? We're getting closer, but it makes me nervous. Why? You guys belong together. What's gonna happen when the baby comes back and Michael and Marcy take her home? We're gonna get ripped apart all over again and I don't think we can handle it. I think you're gonna need each other more than ever. It's Marco. Prom! Langston, after prom! I'm so sorry, I never asked you what happened. Please, tell me everything. Well, not everything. Okay, yeah, actually, I want you to tell me everything. <laughs> well, it was amazing. It was amazing and perfect, yes. and Aunt Dorian did not mess anything up? Well, no, Aunt Dorian didn't, um, but... What do you mean? Like, so what happened? Man, I, I thought my situation was crazy. Lola killed her own mom? I mean, is that chick totally nuts or what? Yeah, it looks like. I mean, I'm just thanking my lucky stars that her crazy plan for me and Langston didn't work out. Man, you thinking about the baby again? Yeah, I'm just starting to feel bad for running out on Star. And do something about it. Oh, you're awful blunt. <laughs> I learned from the master. So, am I right? Did you accept Clint's proposal so that you don't have to deal with your feelings for Bo? No. I love Clint. Nobody's saying that you don't. Mm -hmm. But being engaged kind of puts the kibosh on what's happening with you and Bo. There's nothing happening with me and Bo. Mm. Sure. I almost make out with guys all the time that nothing's happening well, with. We almost didn't make up. You know what? Let's talk about your love life. I don't have one, which is why I'm sticking my nose into yours. No, yeah, for the last time. Something was brewing with you and Bo. Our son was paralyzed, and we got close. I don't care. If you're trying to turn it off by getting married to Clint, that is not fair to Clint, or to Bo, or to you. God's sake, so what do you want me to do? Break off my engagement to Clint? Is that what you want? Right now, we're trying to reach out to Bess on her terms. And I can't tell you any more than that. OK, I'll let you know as soon as I know more. Who's that? John McBain. Oh, well, this situation is really getting to me. Any particular reason why? I thought you might be talking to Nora. I keep racking my brains trying to figure out what else I could have done for Jess. Well, hey, you did a lot, Brody. You figured out where she was, you got everybody here. Now we just have to let Vicky handle it. We've got to trust her. She knows her own daughter. And she understands Bess. OK, genius. If there's always a next logical step, tell me what it is. Tell me what you're gonna do. This. I can figure this out. I have to. Yes. Go away, Victoria. It's not Victoria. It's Jean. Randolph. Now open the door. It's so wonderful to have Sam and Jack back in the house. Yes, thanks. I'm going to go check on them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm also very grateful that this whole situation has exonerated John of all charges. And I tell you, when everything settles down, I'm going to throw the two of you a wedding, a real wedding. And that'll prove to Todd that you really are finished with him. Well, what's important right now is to make sure Star's baby gets home safely. You know what I want? Another dessert. <laughs> Remember, I am your daughter. I am on your side. Now, you can sit here and bury the issue all you want, but at some point, you're going to have to make a decision about Clint and about Bo. Bo. Maybe we should go up there. All right, just have him stand by for now. I'll wait for my word. We're ready to go, but I think we should take a little more time. 
Let's give Vicky a chance. Okay, Paul. Okay. You're Jean Randolph? Yes. As Victoria's gatekeeper, I am completely aware of the responsibility that you shoulder as Jessica's protector. And I respect all that you've done for her. However, I need to talk to you about how to resolve this situation logically. Lola poked holes in your condom. Why? Well, she couldn't have Marco, so she wanted to ruin my life. Oh, my gosh. Well, she could kill her mom. I'm just really glad that she didn't hurt you. You know. Look, just call Cole, okay? You know you want to. If he wanted to be here, he would. Ooh. You feel like seeing anyone? No, but if it's Aunt Dorian or my mom, they're not going to give up. Come in. I snuck in through the kitchen to avoid Dr. Lord, and um, I brought someone. I'm back. I know that you think you can deal with this, and that you don't need any help, but you do. And frankly, I'm the only one who thinks as rationally as you do. I understand. As things stand now, Bess, there is no way out. Okay, so um, I spoke with my dad and he said, he said the mama is trying to work on Bess, trying to get her to come out. Kristen, I am really, really sorry that that little girl in there is not your granddaughter, but I... I want you to know you do have a granddaughter. We do? Well, Jessica didn't say anything about another little girl. Her name is Bree. And I really look forward to introducing the two of you. She's, she's beautiful. She's got a, a lot of gnash in her. And she's just cute and, and funny and smart. And she's just she's so much like Nash. Oh, I, I can't wait to meet her. Nash wrote us that he wanted that to happen. Nash was a great guy. He and Jessica loved each other very much. You know, for the few moments that Jessica was herself, it seemed to me that she'd found someone else to love. I wish I could have gotten through to Jessica again. You did your best, Brody. This disease of hers is just not very easy to deal with. I just hope to God when all this is over, Jessica comes back to me. This house is completely surrounded by police, so you have no means of escape. Your only option is to accept my help. Now, will you please open the door and let me in? 